Hi, I'm Craig, and welcome back to another On the Road video brought to you by ApplianceVideo.com. Today, we will show you how to enter diagnostic mode on the Samsung Top Load Washing Machine. Stop. Before beginning any repair, always be sure to disconnect the power to the appliance. It is also recommended to test the outlet for the proper voltage. Remember to also turn off the water. There will be no tools needed for diagnostic mode. To enter diagnostics, first you will need water and power hooked up to the unit. Now there are two main portions of the diagnostics that we are going to go through. The first being the air codes. What you want to do to enter diagnostics is power the machine on. Next, press your delay key until it reaches 17 on the screen. Then you'll want to press and hold start for seven to 10 seconds. Now, once it gets to the AS portion, this is showing us that we have activated the tech mode. To check your error codes, you want to press the bottom right button on this in particular machine is self-clean. Press this, it will show CR. Now to show the error codes, it will start with the most recent error code and go so on and so forth. You'll want to turn the knob clockwise. As you can see, it says 01. Every time we press it, it should show a different error code inside the system if there are any errors. Now the most common error code you're going to find would be a UB for an unbalanced load. You could have a DC error code, which is for a lock mechanism, the TC error code for a temperature sensor. You could also have any type of clutch problems, which is the PC error code. Now there are numerous error codes that are in this system whenever you go through it, so refer to your tech manual to show which one corresponds to what you're showing on the screen. Next, I'm going to show you how to enter the automatic test cycle. It is very important on this machine so that you can hear how it's running, test the drain cycle. That will help eliminate a lot of different confusion if there is a problem with the machine. To start, power it on. Once again, you'll hit the delay button until it gets to 17. Press and hold start for 7 to 10 seconds. It will come up with AS. At this point, just press start, and it's going to start your test cycle. The first portion of this cycle is going to fill. It's going to activate both valves. So if you do have a calcium buildup or anything like that, you can test for power. You can check and see if you know your valve is clogged with any type of debris, stuff like that. It's now going through an agitation portion, so your wash plate is moving. Pay attention to see if you hear any grinding noises or if the entire drum is spinning instead of just the wash plate. Next, it's going through the drain cycle. Pay attention to the sounds here. If there's a coin stuck inside of it, it will make a grinding noise. If it's not making any noise at all, you can check for power at the drain pump to make sure that the control board is functioning correctly. The next portion is going to go through is a high speed spin. Listen to any sounds that could be coming from the machine, such as grinding or maybe a noise that sounds like an airplane that could indicate that you have bad bearings, or if it's going off balance, could be smashing around because the shock absorbers are bad. Now we have finished diagnostic automatic check mode it's also very important to know that your lid lock must be working in order for it to go through any feature on this machine. So make sure that your lid is locked. It has unlocked at the end of the cycle. To exit diagnostics, simply press power, and this will complete diagnostics. Thank you for watching another quality video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.